All right. So today is uh, pretty exciting. One of every back shops, not every back shop, but it, it is a favorite of a lot of back shops. The SIBO. This is like the flagship of the SIBO line, the SIBO K3. For those of you who aren't aware of, aware of SIBO, 100%, these, their machines are 100% German engineered, 100% German made, long warranties, clean good, last long, easy to use, great filtration, all that fun stuff, which are the most important things to look for in a vacuum. And today, uh, we're at Charlie's Vacuums up in Glens Falls, New York. We are the superheroes of clean up here. That's how I feel sometimes. I really feel, Jared, like I'm a superhero. I got my superhero hat on. Vacuum, can you, I don't know if you can see that or not. Vacuum repair shop hey. approved. I got my superhero shirt on. Good, clean living. Kind of crazy, but I feel pretty good about what we do because we provide the most effective, easiest to use, um, products that are responsible for cleaning your home and your business and your environment. So not only good for the appearance of the home, but also for your health. So feel, feel pretty good about what we sell, but we don't sell it online. I, there, again, this leads me to my disclaimer again, which I start every demonstration with. If you see something you like, or you, you might want to get more information about, or you might want to purchase, you need to go to your local verified vacuum repair shop. So vacuumrepairshop.com does not sell vacuums online. Uh, we don't think you should buy vacuums on Amazon or the internet. We think you should gather information, but go to your local vacuum shop. And if you go to vacuumrepairshop.com, that will give you the local premium or verified member um, in your area um, of vacuum repair shop. And they know what's best. They're, they've been trained. They know how to treat people. They know how to solve your problems. Again, they, they have the most effective, easiest to use equipment to keep your environment, your space as clean as possible, be it good vacuum cleaners or air purifiers or whatever you need. We are superheroes. We're the grind fighters, if you will. <laughs> the grind fighting superhero. So this machine is no exception. This is a great value. This is a great machine. Um, but again, not trying to sell you. If you think you, if you if you like what you see, go to your local back shop and check it out. So there's there's only a few really good quality canister vacuums out there. Sebo, Aeris Electrolux, Linhaus, uh, Mila makes the higher end. Uh, German made Milas are good ones, but this has been in the Sebo line for quite some time. So let me jump right into it. First of all, it has the Sebo powerhead, which is recognized as one of the best power heads there is, for sure, okay? So power head, L-shaped power head. Again, canister machine, two motors, motor down there for the brush, motor back here for the canister. The power head, swivel, L-shaped, okay? Uh, very low profile. I'm gonna turn this off so I don't have to scream, but L-shaped power head, it's got the swivel. It goes all the way to the ground, so if you wanna go underneath something, you can. Let me turn it on one second. We'll show you. We'll show you how well. Probably the most important thing is how well it's clean. So we'll take it over to the car mat and we'll show you just how good it cleans. Let me get a close up of that here. So that's pretty impressive. That's to represent like that's a most back shops will have some of that in their in their shop. They call that K pop. It's for demonstration purposes to show you what it would do on like cat and dog hair. That's the other thing too. You can, if, if you're concerned whether a vacuum is going to pick up your cat or dog hair, it is just not uncommon. We have it happen all the time. We've had people actually bring in uh, a, a rug with some of the dog hair on it. We've actually taken the vacuum out to their car to see if it was going to take care of the car for them. We've had people actually come in with bags of dog hair so that we can put it down and pick it up and show them Show them how well it cleans. So this machine is very good for the pets. Although it doesn't say pet on it, don't be fooled, it's great for pets. So you don't, the vacuum does, does not need to say pet or animal vacuum. Any vacuum worth having will take care of the pet here, okay? So you don't need tricks or gimmicks or fancy wording on it or anything like that. This is bottom line, cleans better, lasts longer, easier to use, better filtration. Um, Again, let's stick with the head one more time. So the L shape, in case you don't know what that means, this little piece right here, it will get around the legs of the furniture very easily. Again, we'll lay flat. This machine 
It has the height adjustment. I'll cover that first, okay? It has the height adjustment, one, two, three, four. So if you raise it up all the way, that's for your thicker plush carpets with, with some nap to it. Nowadays, a lot of the carpets are really thick and soft. So sometimes you have to raise that power head up all the way so that it'll go through it. It is nice to be able to adjust the power head to, to your liking. This power head is kind of what they call a smart power head. It actually tells you if you have it too high or too low. So I just raised it up all the way. We have a low, low nap carpet. So I probably raised it up too much, but when I turn it on, if the red light goes on, that means that, that means it's too high. So sure enough, you can get a close up. Red light means it's too high. So I'm gonna lower it down. And in this, in our showroom, again, with the low nap carpet, I can raise it, I can lower it all the way and it's not gonna affect anything. If I had a thick carpet, I lower it all the way, the red light might flicker and tell me it's too low. Okay, so green means go. This machine has a lifetime belt warranty. This is really cool. So the machine has a circuit breaker. If you pick up something you shouldn't, it, it'll wrap around the brush. Let's say because it has a low profile, maybe you go under the bed, maybe you go under the um, sofa, you pick up a sock or a shoelace. With a lot of machines, you would end up breaking the belt, or if you didn't have the circuit breaker, you may end up damaging the actual bearings in the brush roll, or you could end up damaging the motor. This machine, it just shuts off. You can go ahead, and, the red light will go on, tell you there's something stuck in there. So all we're gonna do, turn it over, you can see that's wrapped around the brush. If you pick up anything you shouldn't, then it gets wrapped around there, you can just turn the machine off, pull it out of there, and when you turn it back on again, it resets itself, okay? So in case you're wondering, you can, you can turn it on and off right from the handle, too, right from the handle too. Okay, so there's an on-off switch machine on the machine, but there's also a switch right here on the handle. So if something like that does happen, you can turn it off here without going to the machine. Now, as long as you're on the power head, we'll stay right there. This is really cool. We love the power head on the Sebos. Nice soft rubber wheel, so it's not gonna mark anything up. There's a bare floor tool tool, and we'll show you that in just a second, but two really cool things about this, this power head. One, it's got a clean out port. So if you pick up something you shouldn't, let's say one of the one of the pet's toys, cat's toy or something like that, um, maybe um, even a nail or screw, or screw or something like that, or a paper clip or sugar pack, if anything that might get jammed sideways, you and, and rather than creating a clog like you get with most machines, this machine's pretty much clog proof because you have access all the way along the line. There's little little spaces where you can go in there and get it. You can just open that up, pull whatever's in there out, and you're back in business. Now, this is really cool. This is exciting. It's inevitable when you have a machine that's got a revolving brush, you've got carpets, you've got pets, you've got people, uh, you've got long hair, that stuff is going to wrap around the brush. You're gonna wanna clean the brush off at some point. Okay, so this very this machine is very easy to maintain. So easy to maintain, as a matter of fact, that in our vacuum shops, we actually give customers a product protection plan. We give them 10 free tune-ups. Once a year, they can come in and get the machine tuned up because it take, doesn't take the service person that long to do it. So we figure it's something we can do for our customers. And I'll bet if you go to, to some of your local vacuum repair shops, premium shops, they would probably work out a deal for service for you as well. Okay, but... This is how easy it is to service the brush. First of all, it's got the lifetime belt warranty. It's got the circuit breaker. It'll shut off for you. You'll never break the belt on this vacuum. Plus the belt is over here, not exposed to any dirt. So you're not gonna be chewing up the belts. And if you wanna take this brush out to clean it off, there's an end cap there. You can just pop that end cap off and you can pull that brush out. It's that simple. Take the brush out, clean it, put it back in. Or eventually, 10 years from now, or. I always change the brush on my vacuum a little more more often than that because I think it's a really important part of the machine. It's not a big chore to change the brush. You can change the brush whenever you like without no screws, no big repair, pop it out, pop another one in there. So I'm gonna take it from one end of the machine to the other, okay? So we kind of, one of the reasons we like the Sebo, not only because it cleans very good, German made, 10 year motor warranty, 10 year parts, seven year labor. I mean, it's, I, I refer to the Sebo as mom's old Electrolux which we have here in our shop. You can see them right there. Electrolux, which is going the root of, they still make a good quality canister, but they also sell the, the air purifiers, which is nice, which is the second thing we should talk about today. In addition to have good clean surfaces with this, you really should have clean air as well. But we do refer to this as, it's like mom's old Electrolux, except maybe a, uh, a modern version of it. So it's as durable, it's a good quality machine, but it is easy to use. So there, ha there has been some 
some advances technology-wise as far as ease of use to this machine. So on the back of the machine, and what I was going to say was, it, it really is a complete cleaning tool. It's not just for carpets. It's for carpets, bare floors, above the floor cleaning. So there's going to be a bare floor brush on the back of the machine. Actually, there's two bare floor tools. That's that's your basic bare floor tool. But this is, I should clear, I should clarify this too. I should qualify. This is the SIBO K3 Premium Onyx machine. The Onyx means it, this is the, the Onyx is the black one. Uh, there's a few different K3s out there. This one sells for a little more money. Um, again, we're not selling them here. You should go talk to your local back shop to see which one they have and which one is best for you. They all are the same, except the warranty is different with the premium Onyx. Okay, so you get the 10-year motor, 10-year parts, 7-year labor, and they're only available at your back shop. And they come with a premium attachment kit, the premium Onyx uh, K3 Onyx. Now, in our back shop, we kind of match up the tools that we think are going to be important to you. So we give you a little more value than what's listed online. We give extra attachments depending on, you know, some people may need a turbo tool for their furniture. Some people may need a bare floor tool is more important to them. So I'm going to show you as if you had, if bare floors were an important priority to you, you're getting the soft horse hair brush that generally comes with it. Okay. But this is your premium bare floor tool. We, this is a little bit stiffer bristle brush, but more important than that, it's got a couple different pivots in it. I want to show you how this works. It's really neat. So if you're doing hardwood floor, um, if you're doing tile and grout, or maybe you've got a nice marble floor or something like that, you're going to want to use one of the brushes. You can use the power head. It's not going to hurt anything. But these would probably be a little more effective on the bare floors because it will get into the cracks, recess, grout line, that kind of thing. No matter, no matter which one you like, again, go to your local back shop to see how they work. But either one can ride right on the back of the vacuum. So when you're doing your carpets with this and you want to switch over to the bare floor, again, you can, you can do it with your power head, but you can just pop that power head off real easy. You can pop your bare floor tool on. And then let's go over here, Jared, we'll do it on the bare floor. We need more bare floor in our yeah. Because bare floors are popular now. Okay, it's nice and quiet too. But the nice thing about it, see the different pivots? So I can literally, I, it's so much easier to get around things with this. I don't know if you can get a close-up. I'm going to pick that stuff up right in, right in the corner there. See, I can turn it at an angle, and then I can actually turn it at this angle, too. I can actually pivot this 360 degrees, but you can see with, with a lot of bare floor tools, what you're doing is you're pushing the dirt in front of you, or you're pulling it behind you. I think they call it snow plowing or something. But this, you can actually turn it you see where I'm standing? I can actually turn this this angle right here. Nice. Isn't that cool? So if I, if, let's say dining room furniture. Again, you got to get around the legs of the furniture and stuff, and you got some weird angles, or some furniture in the way. You can clean it easily. Again, pops right off. Now we'll go back over here, Jared. Jared's our cameraman today. Doing a hell of a job. And then you can pop that right on there. Oh, you know why I didn't show it the power head? This is pretty cool too. The machine's got really good edge, so it cleans all the way around the power head. This is kind of a neat way to, this is something else we provide to our uh, members or, or to our customers in our local back shops. Again, this is a wall and ceiling tool. So if you do want to clean up high there, you have a couple different options to get the cobwebs, that kind of thing. But I wanted to show the edge cleaning on this machine. Need to do that. We can turn this right back on. So I'll just go real slow. Again, you can actually see that this will, and you probably noticed it when I was picking up the K-Pock and the other stuff, that it actually pulls in from the front of the vacuum. So as close as you can get to the wall of your cleaning. But if I go real slow, with there, you'll actually see it'll actually grab the wand. Did you see that? So I can actually pull the wand. So, you know, that's your airfoil pulling that wand. So as close as you can get to the wall. Okay, telescopic wand. Okay, so you can raise it, lower it. Nice soft dust brush. Again, no big deal, but well, I I feel like all the little things make the big difference. So this, you don't have to go grabbing other tools, Swiffers or anything like that. If you want to clean 
the window sills or you want to clean like coffee tables, end tables, that kind of thing, you got a brush right on board. Now this is pretty cool. It's, I don't know of another vacuum that actually thought things out this much. This is not round like most of your, most of your uh, dust brushes, right? Most of your dust brushes are round, right? But our houses have corners. Our houses aren't round. So this is kind of neat, comes to a point. So if I do want to clean the corners, if I want to clean the window sills, it would make more sense to have this nice horsehair brush that I can get in to corners with. A big deal? No, but again, all the little things make a big difference. Variable speed motor. So I can raise and lower the speed of the motor. Okay, again, 99% of the time you want full power, but let's say I want to do the drapes. I don't want to suck them off the wall. Maybe I got a, maybe I got a, uh, a lampshade or something like that. I want to pull it in, or maybe I've got a, a, a plant that's got some, I want to dust the plant off. I can, I can pop this nice soft hair, horsehair brush on there and I can lower the speed so it's not pulling the plant into the machine, okay? The machine has got a, uh, this is nice, it's got a crush proof hose. There's two different style of hoses on a canister vacuum. There's a wire reinforced hose, which a lot of people are used to with like a Kenmore, um, even a Lechlux, that kind of thing. And what happens with those is if you do happen to crush it, it will stay that way. It will, it, like it, it, the, the, the wires will crush and then you'll have the um, reduced suction, the hose will wear out, or it'll break. Um, with this one, it doesn't matter what happens. You can step on it, you can walk on it, you can drive a car over this, okay? It'll literally, even though I'm crushing it right now, and they call this a crush-proof hose, it will bounce back to its original shape, okay? And with the SIBO warranty, they're real good. Um, one of the best companies there are as far as dealing with warranties. So if you buy this from a local back shop and you have any problems at all, you go back to that back shop in that warranty period, it's no questions asked. You come back to us um, seven, eight years from now and you happen to have ripped this hose, we're just gonna replace the hose, no questions asked. That's how good the warranty is with SIBO. It's a nice lightweight machine. It's, um, it's got three caster wheels that spin, so it goes back and forth, also goes side to side. So it's real easy if you like to use a canister machine. Sometimes with the other ones that only have, uh, they have the stationary wheels, they can tip, they're, they're easy to tip over. You're not gonna be tipping this one over behind you. And this is really unique to a SIBO. This actually has what they call this air belt, okay? And that's this, this soft bumper around it, okay? Again, another reason you get to the back shop so you can pick this up and feel how light it is. And you can also see how soft that bumper is. It does have a nice pad around the machine. And the idea is, it serves two purposes. One, the obvious purpose, when you're backing along and you, you go from room to room and you, and you hit the walls, you're not marking up the walls. You're not even marking up the vacuum. You're, you're hitting the bumper, okay? So you're not marking anything up. But the second reason is, SIBO and a few other companies pride themselves on the filtration, which is the fourth thing you need to look at the vacuum. Remember, how well is it clean? How easy is it to use? How long is it gonna last? And what, what the fil what's the filtration like? That's, it's 2022 and that's become more and more important in a vacuum is how well is it filters. I don't think you're gonna find a vacuum that filters better than this. There might be some that filter as equal. You know, there are some of the better quality machines that are that do have the good um, filters on them, but I don't think you're gonna find one that filters better than this. And that's what that bumper is. That bumper is also a filter. They call this the, the, uh, the air belt. So this machine, as long as we're on the filters, we'll talk about this. So there's your three caster wheels. Okay, but the bag is very easy to change. It has a, first of all, the bag is a filter itself. Okay? And most of your quality vacuums now have the higher quality bags. Um, so that's disposable. It's got a exhaust filter here. Okay? They call it hospital grade filtration. Again, about as good a filtration as you're going to get. And then you've got a filter up front. So you've got your pre-filter before the motor. You've got your after filter, which I just showed you, which is in the bag compartment. And then you've got the air belt, which is this soft bumper around. Okay, so there's, I don't know how many layers they call it, but there's five, six layers of filtration before so the bottom line is when the air passes through this machine, every vacuum works the same way. They pump air and dirt in, and the idea is let the clean air out, keep the dirt inside the machine. You have to have filters. That's why we like a bag unit much better than 
than a bagless unit. You're going to find that at most bag shops will agree. You're just better off with a bag. You know, once you take the bag and throw it in the garbage, you're back to zero. So vacuums work on airflow. When you fill the bag, you might redu have a little reduction in airflow and it's not going to clean as well, but you know, you throw the bag out every month, two, three, four months. We replace our bag every couple months at home. But once you replace that bag, you're back to zero. When you have a bagless machine, you're constantly dumping that container. So you, all this work you did to clean the house, now you're dumping a container and the dirt's going everywhere. So that's why we're really not big fans of the bagless machine. And the other thing is, the vacuum still works the same way. It's pumping air and dirt in. So even though you're dumping the heavy container every day, getting dirt into the air, um, the filters are still accumulating that dirt. So you have to replace the filters, which are more expensive than bags. So you really should just get a bag unit and replace the bag regularly. I mean, if you walk into either one of our bag shops, it smells clean, it smells fresh, and we ask everybody that comes in, can you smell that? It smells like fresh air, right? There's no, there's no odors in here. There's no smells in here. We've got the proper ventilation. We've got, the, we've got some fans moving through the, through the shop. We've got an air washer in the shop. We've got air purifiers in the shop. More important than that, we've got the Aeris machines, which are using the active pure to deodorize and disinfect in the shop. You can, you're literally breathing outside air inside our, inside our shop. How do you do that? Well, you have to take care of the surface dirt, which, which is the good bag vacuum. Seal that dirt up. Don't let any dirt out. Take the bag, throw it in the garbage once every couple months. And then you have to have something that's continuously cleaning the air inside. So we feel pretty good when you walk into one of our vacuum shops that you're breathing clean air. It's a good, healthy, clean, safe environment. And we can give you the best equipment to do that with. And again, the Sebo K3 is no exception. Um, hate to be redundant, but cleans better, lasts longer, easier to use. There's also a crevice pool on the back and an upholstery tool up top. Okay, and then there's also a turbo brush you can get for the machine. Um, actually, that's usually that's included in a lot of the um, that's included in the Onyx one. So if you want to do the furniture that kind of thing, I don't want to bore you with too much detail because again, you really should get to your local back shop. But if you want to buy once, buy right. You take a lot of pride in your home or your business or whatever. You need the right equipment. Again, this is the right equipment among along with a lot of other stuff you can see at the vacuum repair shop. It does have a retractable cord. But we're pretty confident that once you get this, you can't go wrong number one with the SIBO, but you're gonna have it for a very long time and you're gonna be happy with it for a very long time. Oh, one more thing that's also included in the premium machine. You're getting the turbo tool for your furniture, but you're also getting a nine foot extension hose. So if you wanna go up and down the stairs with this, you can go up and down the stairs without carrying the machine up and down. You can see it sits on its back end here too. So if you wanna put it on the stairs, it's got these two little rubber um, legs on the back, so you can actually put it like that, carry it up and down the stairs. You can actually put the hose on it. It kind of works like a central back when you put that hose on there because you can leave the machine in the middle of the room and go around the perimeter of the room. That's what I was saying. When I say it's not just a vacuum, it's kind of a complete cleaning tool. Um, you won't regret having the SIBO K3. I think I covered everything. So um, visit your local back shop, see what kind of uh, goodies they might want to include for you. Maybe if we, we, I know in our back shop, if, if you're going to do business with, we give you a few extra bags. We give you the product protection plan, some free tune-ups. Uh, but again, vacuumrepairshop.com. Take your time to make the right decision. There's also at our website, a, a free book on, um, a free ebook. You can download it on how to choose the right vacuum. So you want to take your time, make the right decision, visit your local back shop, try it. See what you think. If you have any questions or you can't find the local back shop, we've got experts here that, can, that know all about the vacuums and what you should, they, they know the right questions to ask to solve your problems, that meet all your needs. And again, we're the, we're the grind fighting superhero. So just 1-800-263-5425 is our number if you want to give us a call. Or you can just find your local back shop at vacuumrepairshop.com. Again, as always, I appreciate you watching. Um, Maybe you want to share this video with your friends. Tell them to like and subscribe. Thanks.